after you finished high school? Yeah. For, for when you got. So after that, I was supposed to have uh, done my further studies abroad in the U.S., but that didn't work out. I wanted to do computer science, <clears throat> and I was supposed to be studying at Texas A&M. And so I did my SATs. Then they would ask us to do also TOEFL exams. A TOEFL exam was just an English exam, basically. Uh, so uh, the SATs were just standard academic tests. Um, and so you had to get a certain grade uh, in order to be eligible to that university and to do computer science. So I had applied to Texas A&M, and I think I was very intentional then about that university that I wanted to go to. And so I applied for that, um, and my dad was really shocked at how intentional I was because I knew this is what I was supposed to be doing. And I'm still intrigued by computer science. I still study a lot. Uh, I'm still technical. I do a lot of sound technology, and um, that was just one of my areas. I actually wanted to intentionally be a hacker. That was my intention. Not just to have a program run, but to enter other people's programs and see how they run. And so I never got uh, the visa to go. So that blew me away. It really put me aback. And so I don't know if I fell into a depression or anything, but I remember I was just very sad. So um, all I would do is play basketball and come to church. So that's what I did for a very, very long time. For close to three years. Yeah, because before you got your KCC results, then it took a year. So my results came in December of the year 2000. Um, and so after I got my results, then you could apply using the results you had. Uh, and so with the results I had and so on and so forth, um, and then getting denied. So it just pushed me back. I almost saw like there's no purpose of living though. Um, one thing that was a real and huge blessing that helped me was being part of the worship team uh, in church because now I'll be able to come and um, have Bible study. In the holidays, there was still the fellowship and then there was a young adults fellowship called GAP then, uh, which is I think a Muna now, but there was a young adults fellowship. So... That helped. In the middle of the week, um, I'd be invited to play the piano, whether it was for a wedding on Saturdays or for a funeral service. And for me, because I was not doing much, I'd still I'd, I'd be really glad. I was very available and I was glad to do that because basketball, we used to play basketball in the evenings. It was very hard because all the people having gone to a private school, everybody's going abroad except you. So it was really hard. And a majority of my friends went abroad, but coming to church gave me a purpose. And then um, it was also, we knew we were serving God. And I didn't mind. I remember for some of the camps, what I liked about Nairobi Baptist uh, then is that if you finished a year ahead, you are responsible of doing the camps and the concerts of the year before. So you'd be the people who are the leaders then. So that was really helpful, whether it was in the Bible studies um, and all those things that we did. And so even at that time, it, I was still trying to figure out what I, what I was going to do. And so later on, I got uh, somebody floated the idea and said that you really want to, you're interested about this, all these God things. Have you ever thought about doing theology? And so I said, well, I, I don't want to do theology, but after I retired and I was really wealthy. That was my purpose. I'll do theology when I'm wealthy, not before. So I did, I said, okay, fine. So I got to do theology, a diploma in theology through a school called Bethany Christian College. So it's in the U.S. It's in Kenya, but it has the U.S. affiliation. And so if it's graduating, you'd go, yeah, the university itself. The degree for theology, but I did a diploma first. Apart from the regular, uh, before you also went to university, in that one year period, you'd do Microsoft Office. So you do Word, you do Excel, you do PowerPoint. So there are courses that were being given at colleges then. So that's what you do as you're waiting. Uh, that was what was the, the pattern then.